Hey guys, what's poppin'? Jacques Slade here, and as a creator, I've had the opportunity to see some of the coolest sneakers in the world. Welcome to the UA Icon Creator Collabs, where we meet with artists from coast to coast to create brand new custom sneakers. Today, I'm here with Tommy Lim, creator, muralist, artist. He's been in the lab, putting his own style and vision together for the Under Armour Icon platform. Today, we're gonna go check out his studio and see how he brings his whole style to life. For me, looking at a creator space, you can kind of you can kind of see how their mind works, but you also kind of see where their creative inspiration comes from. This looks impeccable. Like everything seems to be exactly where it's supposed to be. When it comes to my artwork, I'm very like detail oriented. Outside of that, I'm kind of a loose cannon, you know, like I go with the flow, I live life. So like it took me many years to get organized and be more efficient. And this is a visual representation of that. I like to call it the weapons of mass creation, you know? Right. There was there was an injury that kind of pushed you into this sort of design space. Sure. Can you talk yeah. a little bit about that? Yeah, so like I'm a visual artist and I cut my eyeball and I almost lost my eyeball and I had to get like a corneal transplant, uh -huh. which is a cadaver cornea, which is the surface of your eye, and they sew it on 24 stitches and it, that was like two years of my life. Right. Getting surgery and recovery. During that time, like I couldn't see details that much. Like I'd see two of everything. It, it worked out fine because like I love simplicity. Life's too short to like waste your time being negative and feeling sorry for yourself, you know? Right. So if you ain't living, your art's gonna suck. Hands down, you know? Because you're just faking the funk. As a basketball fan, this one obviously caught my eye. That's my sport. I love basketball. Right. Okay. You know, hoops all day. You know, like I did grow up playing basketball, and it probably kept me out of like uh, bad situations. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah. you and me both. Yeah, I'll yeah. Take that. I look at the studio, and I mm -hmm. see like it's all it's all black and white. Talk a little bit about why you relate to that sort of style. Sure. To make something simple and effective, that's the hardest thing to do. And I was just always attracted to like high contrast black and white stuff. And after all these years, I'm like. You know what? I'm just gonna make stuff that I, I like myself. You kind of break from the mold of a lot of artists that we see today that are really on trend. Does the trend actually impact the art that you create and the stuff that you create today? No, I don't follow any trends. I don't follow any current artists. Mm -hmm. I, I studied a lot of art history and stuff like that. I learned where the things I like came from, and mm -hmm. after that, I, I just stuck to my own lane. You look at stuff that's cool, your, your subconscious will copy it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even without you knowing it. The one thing I'm proud about is that when you see it, you know it's my it's my work. Right. You know? Would you consider yourself a sneaker? Head? When I was younger, I definitely was a sneakerhead, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm a fan of just good design. If it looks cool and you feel comfortable in it, then rock it. But now I think we should move on to the creation process on the Icon platform. You have the Under Armour Curry 5. Now I'm gonna go into some details here. Stop me if I get too detailed, just like, you know, my sneaker brain going room. to work here. Love it, yeah. uh, so you have the Anafoam midsole, which mm -hmm. provides like a really custom fit for your foot. You have the knitted upper, which is like a really sock-like feel. Mm -hmm gives you that comfort that you need. And then something here on the outsole that really visually, I feel like represents that style of your art with the sharp lines. Still, thank you. Yeah, it's one of those uh, happy accidents maybe that we, yeah. Story of my life. <laughs> there you go. You know, when I was thinking about these designs, kind of picturing Steph Curry and it's like a violent rainstorm. I can imagine opponents feel like it's a very violent rainstorm when he starts hitting those three-pointers. Like, right? we, we all see it. <laughs> we all see, we all see yeah, the yeah, damage yeah. that he does on the court. Now let's take a look at the platform and see how your designs work with the Curry 5. Yeah, let's do it. Anyone that has a design of their own that can upload it to the platform, you really get to change it and customize it to make it look the way that you want it specifically, the way that you pictured it in your head. The side is so fluid, like I could just move this thing around. Yeah, it has like a 360 degree view yeah. of the shoe so you can really see the whole thing. You could go horizontal up and down so like I could just rotate it like or you know turn it like this. Oh yeah. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's that. That is really cool, actually. <laughs> and then yeah. you go up and down. Here are the different... Um, All the different parts components. of the shoe. So yeah. you have the, the upper, which is the knit part of the shoe, which is mm -hmm. the sock like. There's the laces. There is the SC logo. There's the heel accent. And then they also have the midsole and the outsole. Yeah, because um, most of us don't even know what a heel accent yeah, most, is. Yeah, so. they're not <laughs> sneaker nerds like me. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> exactly so. what that means. Have you black laces for this? Yeah, one? yeah. I was going to say black laces to kind of help with that contrast. All right. Yeah, midsole. I'm following your lead on that one going black. I like I like the black Good midsole. Choice. Yeah, yeah, I like the black Good midsole. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, man. then keep the outsole white. Yeah, I'm happy with that. This looks really, really dope. So I'm gonna go get these made and then I'll be back in a couple weeks and we'll unbox them. Good? Looking forward to it. Oh man, thank you so much. Hey guys, it's poppin' Jock Slade here. 
back with another unboxing and today I have Tommy Lim, the artist, the designer, but more importantly, I have his Icon sneaker customization and we're gonna open it right now. And here we go. Oh, wow. oh yes. I, I'll, I'll let you oh, man. get the first look. These are awesome. Yeah, these, <laughs> this came together really well. The contrast mm -hmm. is really what makes this all come together. I wanted to extend the work throughout the whole shoe. This has like some really crazy sort of streetwear vibes to it. I feel like this is, has a little bit of a high fashion feel to it. Yeah, I think you could go casual. You could go yep. dressed up, you could play ball. You know, I do a lot of murals. I do a lot of uh, immersive spaces where it's not just a flat wall, but like, it's three dimensional, you know? Mm -hmm. And people get to go inside the, the work. Yeah, yeah. But for this, people get to be the work. When someone customizes their own, do you have any like tips or ideas for them? Just do you. Just do what makes you happy. Do what makes you yeah, happy. Design it the way point. you want it. Tommy's design is actually going to be available across the Icon platform on other silhouettes. It's just the Curry 5 that is going to be super, super limited. So if you want this one, you better get on it. As always with the Icon platform, you are the creator in this instance, so you create the design that you want. Tommy, I wanna to thank you for being here. Again, appreciate you. Thank you. And this design is incredible. So I'm Jacques Slay, that's Tommy Lim. This is the Curry 5. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. What's up guys, you wanna see more? Check out the next episode and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later.